raise our young out in the fields Remove our hats, respect the brave And outdoor church is where we pray Out in the wild Wild Dakota is presented by American Family Insurance, the Mike Tejan Agency Fleet Farm, our official retailer Vortex, the force of optics Bob's Custom Meats. Skins it. Get the most out of your filet. Venom Outdoors. Innovative fishing products. Ortnum Seed. Products that work. Copper Creek Construction. Fireplace Professionals. Glacial Lake Snow Bear. Big Frig. Your way of life. JT Outdoor Products. Garrison Gun Club. Gary Allen Guide Service. Boat to Trailer. Interstate Batteries. And a view by the Built. <laughs> some cold temps frost on the grass and windshields this morning northeastern south dakota with a good friends and team member brian behind the camera we've got Vern. cody brinkman in the background is going to take us out and we are going to be after some trophy walleyes we're looking for that 23 to 24 inch plus hopefully getting up into the 28 30 inch fish we're always looking for those 30s yep but today is after trophy walleyes in wild dakota Let's go fishing! Let's go fishing. It's letter buck. <laughs> letter buck. degrees and the temperature went up there the best thing was there was very little wind and the Sun was shining the morning was a struggle because the water is clear but as the day goes up the Sun gets higher the bite gets harder casting into the shoreline shallow jointed shad wraps and flicker shads saw a few fish had a few hits followers but nothing nothing was producing we uh, decided let's go try some deeper water so we found a, a flooded road bed we started fishing that same thing it was lure after lure after lure, this color, that color, you name it, under the rainbow we used it. Got to be about noon, Vern put on something. It was first cast, not even hardly made a crank. Fish on. Another one. I gotta go, I'll, I'll call you back. I wanna get this on. Another good one. Phone you I'm away quick. All right, Vern, I'm ready. That might be your biggest walleye, Dad. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh. Wow. This is a blast. We f went to a road bed. We're in 10 feet. We were fishing three feet. And we're in deep water, and we're killing them now. That is a dandy. That's got to be 27, huh? We'll find 27. out. Let's find out. This is what you can catch in South Dakota Glacial Lakes. Look at this guy. Cody, we want to put him on the stick? Yep, let's see what he is. Let's see what he is. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, it's almost 27. been fishing all day and it is now quarter to 12 haven't had a boom yet and that was the very first one and for one to come that's the one I wanted that is so exhilarating I tell you what there's nothing like it 
Get a kid and go try it. This is why we always preach, let them go. This is gonna be here for another time when we're fishing. Watch this, release them. Oh, there she goes already. As the day went on, it helped when that wind picked up. You know, I mean, that was that was a big, that was a game changer when that wind blew. Because you noticed that as we went into different areas that we had fished prior to that, the, the fish moved in there because the water got a little dirty. It might have pushed feed in. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Here's another one. Look at this JTX medium light bin. God, the sensitivity is amazing. We're throwing cranks. Here it comes. Here it comes. See that streak out there? Oh, 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 good fish. Good fish. And going hey, digging. Minute, digging. Hold. Here you go. You can see it right down here. Head shakes, head shakes. I don't know. I think she's got another run in her. Alright, All right, I'm gonna try and lift her head up. Ready? Yep. To you. Oh, yes. All right. Yeah. Oh, baby. Look Boom. at that one. Nice job, buddy. Look at this girl. <laughs> Man, these fish are solid and thick and pretty and colorful and, and big. Nice <laughs> crown on that. Oh baby. my gosh. Look at the size of that head and shoulders. Man, gotta love walleyes early spring in eastern South Dakota and we're gonna let this one go. Come on sweetheart. Ready? she goes off to eat another minnow another day it was kind of a long day so far all the way to noon we caught one fish before noon after noon then things changed and the fish seemed to bite better in this instance we were able to get on some really nice quality fish and that's a rarity. A lot of times you'll get on the nice eating size fish and you'll catch numbers and you'll catch all kinds of fish all day. But to go to a place like this and actually catch trophy quality fish versus quantity of fish is more luck than it is skill. Feels pretty good. The old drag going a little. Doesn't want to come off the bottom very well. Oh, that's a big one. I just saw that white flash. Yeah. How did this net go back? Hold this close. Oh, gotcha. Got that's a good one. Like a digging right, right here. Or... Digging right here. Right at that and lock it. You ready? Ready. Okay, it's right off this here. corner, Vern. I can see him too. There we go. There we go. Another nice one. <laughs> nice fish. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! Look at there. Nice there fish. There you are. Nice fish. Nice thick shoulder. Look at nice that. Heavy, heavy fish. <laughs> you want to cooperate. Spicy he fish. He wanted to go back. 24. 24. Wow. Nice solid 24 inch. Nice fish. Let's keep going. Let's get some more. Casting up against the shorelines, anything, any sort of structure of any kind that you can find and that's where you find the big fish, or any fish in that body of water for that matter of fact. And that seems like that's the way it is in all these sloughs. There isn't much in them, they're all just bowls, and any type of structure is gonna hold your fish. I, I'm not sure. Yes, there he got him. That one's solid. Oh, this one's got shoulders, I can't take it. It was 
getting later in the day and the wind was definitely helping break up the water's surface tension. We just came back to the shallows to give it another try. Second cast and fish on. Our main camera started giving us fits to get this exact moment. Wouldn't power up, nothing working, but put a new battery on and still nothing. All of a sudden it came back on and then it died again. Vern is trying to assess the problem as fast as he can. Near as we could tell is, we don't think the viewfinder was all the way open and locked, causing the camera not to turn on. But we removed the battery one more time closed everything up and restarted it and it was back to normal. But right now, I'm literally waiting for a camera to quit giving us fits and this is a big walleye at the end of my line. I'm like nervous, I don't even want to talk right now. Just missed one, Brian was making fun of me. Because I got a dyslexic reel here. Oh my gosh, this one doesn't even want to come up. Look at this JTX going, it's bending. See that fish back there? Here it comes, it's up. Uh, oh, there he is, there he is. The underwater? Um, yeah, that would be great. Uh, but we gotta get it turned on. Where is it? Um, right here. We finally had to get the fish in and released, but god dang it, what horrible timing. But on a brighter note, this is what we came here to do. Catch big fish. There it is, Dad, here it is, get it up. Get the fish first. Get the fish. I can't. Come, I can't get it. Come here, we come. Yes. yes! All oh, right. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, one buddy. solid flip. Look at that this one. one is a little bit. Small. Try it again. Tell me when it's recording. It's recording again. Okay. Now that is a solid fish. It's not quite as big as that 27. Oh, I know why. So this mishap caused us to lose all of the audio for the whole sequence, but we did land another 27 inch fish. Fat post spawn walleye. The whole time? I don't think so, it was all the whole time. The whole time it was? I don't think so. I think it, would, it just when it was here when I came down. But. Where you at? Back here. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to get in, so I'm going to help. Yeah, I got it. Got one. Cool. We're coming in, coming in, Brian. Hey, nice fish. Another nice, yeah, healthy. Fish. Oh, it's just a little one. Stupid. Just a small girl today. It's a little one. I'm not, I'm not getting a big fish. He ain't so little. No, it's a good one. I'm teasing him. <laughs> she saw him a little bit. Saw, saw the boat. Saw the net. Ooh, not hooked very well either. Oh, that's a good one. That's <laughs> that's <big>. Boom! <laughs> Your JT. Oh big. man, I think you, you, I think this is big fish. This one feels way heavier. This. That is an amazing fish. All right, oh, baby, ready? Oh baby, oh baby. Here we go. I think you got big fish. Here we Check go. this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> that is dandy. Look at the shoulders on that. That one's thing. thick. It felt heavy. <laughs> it's a nice fish. today was on an edge you know it was close to deep water um, it ran up into shallow water with a lot of weeds on it and then we were out in the deep water with running the road beds which the road beds are road beds are always good we had a fantastic day on the glacial lakes here in South Dakota and it was a fun time and I'm gonna do it again but to come across fish after fish that are all over 24 inches 
that's it's pretty rare it's pretty special and it's pretty awesome when you can line that up with a good group of guys and you can experience that together oh, 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 oh baby, yeah, baby. Shake after handshake. I love it. Digging deep, digging deep. When you talk about a whole different feel, oh, he's running. <laughs> it's crazy how much difference. Need a little more drag, I think. Oh, I don't know. I get it's like. It's like big buck yeah. fever, and then you're like, I don't know how big it is. Hold on here, here's coming down. It's, it's, going, it's, it's digging right now. You see it? Yep, I see it. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> That's another 27 inch fish. Okay, maybe not. I'm just excited. <laughs> oh, and off. Dude. Oh, and off again, man. These things, it's just on the edge of their lip. I mean, like you're talking the corner of their mouth in the in the chunk of the skin. All right, I'm gonna get this out of the way so nobody gets hooked up. Let's go take a look at this fish. My thumb just cramped up because I'm holding my rod so dang hard. Gripped on. All right, official men's sure. I think we're gonna have another 27 inch fish. This one's thick too. Solid fish. 26, right on the nose. So not as big, but that is a healthy fish. We decided to come out here today. We heard that the bite started after a, a tournament last weekend and we wanted to hit this body of water anyways. Figured the water temp was gonna come up and the bite was gonna pick up. Well, this is the only day that we had that was gonna make it work. Before we get to the ending, Brian David, team member, helped put this together. Behind you, Vern, you got Cody Brinkman. He's the guy that got us on here. We kind of knew what to do. We collaborated, put it all together. And this is what we come up with. Big South Dakota walleyes. 26 inch, look how fat that is. We're gonna get her right back into the water. So come on over. Are we ready for this? All right, we're letting her go. Oh, I don't want to get you. There we go. All right, sweetheart. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> and that was He's that. Gone. However, we ran out of time. We got to go home as always. Fish hard, fish safe. Have a successful season. We'll see you next time right here in Wild Dakota where we're born free. We live wild, everybody. And we are proud, proud to, to be, be Americans. Americans.